We got to catch that on Nitty TV, y'all. Yes, sir. Only on Nitty. <laughs> only on Nitty. 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 And this is where well, we at. We at the East. We, we, we by the Q building in East Baton Rouge. Yeah. Parish Prison, right? Yeah. This right behind us, right here. Right, right. This is where we at right now at the Q building. Okay. And, bro, what I tell you, you might not believe it, but all I remember from the Q building, I remember this shit like it was yesterday. I remember them dudes saying, man, if we get to the Q building, we get to the Q building, they going to protect us and watch us. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I'm looking at the guard. I'm saying, God, God, I want to go to the Q building. I want to go to the Q building. Mm -hmm. So by that time, I remember the motherfuckers calling my name. And they called my name, and I noticed I wasn't going with the ones going to this bitch here, the Q building. I was mm -hmm. going to the dungeon. And when I'm telling you going to the dungeon, I knew shit was different because the way dudes' faces was, they had tattoos in their faces, they had tattoos all over their bodies, you know what I'm saying? The niggas looked in more meaner. So the dungeon, that's another dog. Yeah, it's, it's, it's the old prison, and it's the new prison. Okay. And it's, it's a big difference, you know what okay. I'm saying? The old prison, mm -hmm. they really do some shit. Okay. But see, the Q building, I thought I was going to be safe. Uh -huh. And I remember them calling me one night saying, you're going to the Q building, you're going to the Q building. My first day in the Q building, everything changed. You could see it, you know what I'm saying? But everything changed on the opposite side. Mm -hmm. The walls was different. They had glass. They had the people greedy me. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, Marlon, come here, let me, let me see where you're going. Mm -hmm. Bitch told me I was going on Q7. And let me tell you, from then it went down. I went on Q7, bro. And I had my mattress. And I remember me going down there, bitch. She said, you're going to Q7, not Q8. And, it, you know, Q7 is open. Okay. The old prison, they got cells, okay. but the Q, Q building is an open dawn it's building, open dawn. and there's more motherfuckers in that bitch, that's what I'm saying. Uh -huh. So you with like 80 other guys, you know what I'm saying, okay. and, and you going in there and you seeing the phones hanging down, uh -huh. you not knowing that you're not supposed to use the phones. Okay. That was me. You just getting in there. Yeah, I'm just getting in there, motherfucker, bro. I'm just touching that bitch like that. And I, and I picked up the phone to try to call my mama and let her know that I was all right. But then the dude told me, say, bro, you're not supposed to be using the phone. Come to the back. Mm -hmm. and, and, bro, I'm telling you, bro, from that ass whooping to all the other ass whooping, that's where it all happened. So, Real when shit. you say that ass whooping, so would you... When you got on the phone, what, what happened when you picked the phone? I picked up the phone. Dude told me you're not supposed to use the phone, but he said you're going to do that. But when you finish, come to the back. They got, they got beds all the way down to the back. And, and you go all the way down to the back. And when you go to the back, normally when a motherfucker calls you to the back, it's, it's, it's about calling you out. I wouldn't say red call, but it's one on one. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? He called you to the back. So what happened when y'all got to the back? Well, it took me a minute to go to the back. Because I knew what was going on to the back. I kind of was trying to procrastinate and see if the guard would see me and see me in fear in my eyes that I didn't want to go to the fucking back. Mm -hmm. But you know how you got to go when you don't want to go? Yeah. Yeah, you ha I had to go back there. My rack was back there. But not only that, the dudes come, coming out there walking back and forth, you know what I'm saying? They got the dudes who pull you to the back in front of the people. Yeah. So when I went to the back, all of a sudden, bro, you know, I'm not knowing the dude ain't going to give me a chance to talk. Dude just started hitting me. He just went, he just took Yeah, off, he didn't ask me phone. nothing why I had to use the fucking phone and nothing. Just started flushing me out. Real shit. So Got I, my ass whooped. I'm saying the guards flashed the lights on because they saw the shit. Uh -huh. But they didn't come in that bitch to help me. God, Based damn. on two stories. They didn't come in there and that bitch to say, take him out there or take me out there. They left me in so that bitch. Did they, when you took the phone, did, did they tell you... Uh, Something about not taking the phone, or they just say, come to the back? You don't know what's going on. Nah, they didn't. Nah, the dude came behind me, and the dude told me, said, man, you're not supposed to fuck with them phones. Oh, okay. Like so, that. Yeah, he, he told you what, what the fight was about to be about. Yeah, man, you, man, look. I don't even much like telling people this shit, shit because I don't be want people to know mm -hmm. about how it was. Man, it was a many nights I cried, bro. I cried. It's a, man, you know, I even much thought about trying to kill myself, bro. Damn. Real shit, man. I'm telling you, brother. Man, man, the okay. ass whoopers I was getting, bro, for no reason. Damn. Man, I, I really, man, I really thought about that shit. Damn. You know that's, what I'm saying? Not just, you that's, know. That's, that's deep, bro. You know what I'm saying? Man, you know, you watch movies and shit like that, bro. I never thought that I would be in a position, I would put myself in a position to be in there like that. Man, it's a many nights I call home crying to my mom and daddy. Mm -hmm. You know, 
asking them, can they help get me move off a line? They, but I'm not knowing that I'm about to be moved to another line with the same yeah, bullshit. Yeah, the same shit or, yeah. Or, or, or worse. Yeah, man. So it wouldn't know. So I know you done bounced around that prison. The so, whole fucking prison. So, not bounced out the whole prison. So the whole the whole shit fucked up. So it wouldn't know good spots to say it was okay or nothing. It didn't get good until like over five years, like after five years. It, Damn. That's when it got good, bro. I started fucking with dudes. I started, you know what I'm saying? I caught on a lot of shit, but I still was getting my ass whooped. Damn. Man, I was beat mentally, bro. I, man, I'm telling you, so bro. But how many fights, let's say the first, your first, we say you got in the fight the first day. Yeah. I got in the first fight, my first day, I got in three fights. Damn, three fights yeah, the first, first day? day? Yeah, my first day. I got in a fight from a sack. Yeah, that's a, that's a, I got in that's fact, a crazy introduction. I got in a fight from a nigga, bro. Because, you know, when you walk in and you get ready to go online, they give you a bag. They get ready to give you a bag. Mm -hmm. And then your bag is your personal shit, not nobody else's. Because yeah. they give everybody a fucking bag. But one dude decides he wants to have my bag and his bag. You know what I'm saying? So I went to get my bag. He told me that not, it's not yours no more. Real shit. Damn. You know what I'm saying? And then when I get online, I ain't got no fucking blanket in no seat. I told the guard, but I know what he told me. He gonna come back. Damn, he ain't never come back. I'm still, still waiting on it. Still waiting on it, bro. Damn. Yeah. Man, bro. Man, this man, I ain't gonna sit there take no bullshit, man. It's the jungle for real in there. Man. Hey, bro, they talk about OPP. You, you, you really got to get it how you live because the, the way they feed the motherfuckers mm -hmm. in there. Man, these dudes pimping you out to play that on the fucking table in front of people. So I heard a couple of times when you said lion, tigers, and bears. And oh, like, my. So that's like when you're in the jungle with lion, tigers, and bears. Like, yeah. So they throw so, you in there to yeah, the business. Yeah, so you just got to gotta get in how you fit in there. Hey, bro, I was a grasshopper with nothing but lions and tigers. <laughs> you heard me? Damn. Real shit, bro. And I'm telling you, it showed. Man, mom and them used to try to come visit me sometime. I ain't want to go because I ain't want them to see my face. Black eye. For no fucking reason. Broken jaw. You know what I'm saying? I didn't want them to see my face. I didn't, I, man, I didn't have no problem just calling home, lying, telling them I'm all right. But I wasn't all right. I'm telling you, bro, it hurts. It hurt all the way fucking to this day, bro. Because I missed out on a lot of shit. Not just, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I missed out on a lot of shit. But it's, it's hot out there. The sun beating us up. Uh, before we get out of here, give a message of how we got to do every time. Your message to these kids who might be going the wrong way, getting in trouble, who go end up in here. Let them know something. You better grow up before it's too late. And stop letting motherfuckers think for you. You better be able to think for yourself because the ones who are thinking for you getting you in this spot here. And I'm telling you, it just ain't where you want to be, man. They got females in this bitch too, though, but this ain't where you want to be at. You know what I'm saying? Your freedom. <laughs> and you got access to the females in there? Like, if, if you want to pimp on a, on a, on a female guard, or, 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 or can you get to some of the female prisoners? It's not dreams or rags or, or none of that shit there. <laughs> it's not dreams or rags. You can shoot a kike, a bitch to kike, because you can see, you know what I'm saying, every once in a while you might hit the jackpot. You uh -huh. know, writing letters, SOS and shit like that. SO1, SO2, SO3, or 4. You know what I'm saying? You might already know somebody who already down, so the bitch might be able to hook you up with somebody she know, and y'all start josting. Right. Ain't nothing like two motherfuckers writing each other in jail, neither one of y'all getting out no time soon. <laughs> but yeah, you meet some of the best people in there. I met some of the realest guys in this bitch, yeah. bro. From this day, on the streets, motherfuckers see me and they be hollering at Pee Wee, you know what I'm saying? Pee Wee, stay up. See, it wasn't that when you were whooping my ass. Real tough. Oh, fuck you. Real shit. But, um, Bad Rules Parish prison stories, man. Welcome back, baby. Welcome back. <laughs> we gonna have another sit-down interview for y'all another time. We just out in the city. We outside today, man. Yeah, we about to go inside today. It's too hot. <laughs> Shout out. Catch that on Nitty TV, y'all. Yes, sir. Only on Nitty. Only on the Nitty. Only on the Nitty. Exclusive. And this is.